So it's 2021 and obviously we have a million hot sectors. You guys probably know that. But today I want to talk about the reemergence of the OTC markets. This is an exciting time, especially if you've got that really small account, which nothing wrong with that. But the great thing about the OTC stocks, I mean, these are the true penny stocks and it really opens up uh, opportunity if you do have that really small account. Today, I'm gonna tell you what to look for and the how and the why behind these movers. Hey everyone, Lead Training with Stocks and Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And then also, if you're on YouTube, ring that bell. Uh, we put out about a ton of videos these days. I go live every day, Matt, Kyle, Jack, uh, they're doing the the twist, the the uh, weekly recap of their trades. We've got the long form podcast with Stephen and I. Bryce is doing the 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 treats uh, mini podcast. He kind of takes a a fun spin towards the theme of the day. Uh, and then we're doing these how-to videos as well. I, uh, man, it, it's exciting. We're, we're putting out a ton of great information. We're really doing the best we can to help you out because, man, there's so much going on out there. You got to absorb as much as you can. So ring that bell, share with your friends, and then... If you're enjoying these videos, you want to learn more from Mike Huddy and I, definitely check out the Steady Trade team. We do twice daily webinars every single trading day. There's an archive of over 2,500 webinars, all with notes, all searchable. Like it's the best way to immerse yourself in this stuff. So let's talk about OTC stocks, pink sheet stocks, you know, the non-listed stocks as we say. So let me give you a little bit of a background of what the difference is. So when, when we say listed stocks, we're talking about those NASDAQ stocks or the NYSE stocks. And those are typically, now I want to be careful with this, but typically, you know, the NASDAQ stocks, the NYSE stocks are the more quote unquote real stocks. Now, if you're in penny stock land, you know there's plenty of sketchy companies on the NYC and plenty of sketchy stocks on the NASDAQ. But in essence, they, in theory, if they're listed stocks, there at least is some vetting going on, you know, some sort of due diligence by the exchanges. You got to hit price minimums. You got to have uh, uh, reporting minimums. I mean, you actually have to report your financials. Your price has to be a minimum and et cetera. So, th so there's at least some goalposts. But when we're talking OTC stocks, and that stands for the over-the-counter exchange, whether it be the pink sheets, the gray sheets, I mean, this is the wild, wild west. Wild, wild west. I mean, these companies are the sketchiest of the sketchy. And that might be one of the biggest things I want you to take from this video is trade these things all day long. But I think that's one of the biggest mistakes newer traders make is they kind of fall in love with the story. They, they read the press release. They go to the web page. They listen to people on Twitter or on Reddit or in chat rooms, and they believe the story. That might be the biggest takeaway from today. Never, ever, 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 ever believe in an OTC stock. These are what we call trading vehicles, okay? These, they have a history of running. They follow all of our top five favorite chart patterns. They are trading vehicles. These are not swing trades. And listen, even if you swing an OTC for a couple days or a week or so, mm, it kind of it gets me worried, but that's it. You can swing them a short term. Never, ever, ever invest in an OTC stock. If you're in these things, you got to be looking at it every day because they'll drop 50%, 80% in a day. It's not like investing in Apple. You know, you can buy some Apple shares and not and only check on it every now and then. If you're in an OTC, you check it every day, multiple times a day. Never, ever forget to keep an eye on any OTC because they dump and they dump hard. Maybe you've been in one of those dumps. So that being said, know what you own. Know what you're trading. And that puts you ahead of so many. I mean, if you simply know that this stock probably is going to fail, it's probably a pump and dump, there's probably manipulation going on, as long as you go in with your eyes wide open, nothing wrong with that. You know, because now you're a trader. You know, that's what OTCs are designed for. They're for traders. 
not for investors. So just do that, you know, and, and that'll put you ahead of a significant majority. Now let's talk about the chart patterns, why we care, et cetera, and what we want to look for. So what we're looking for is simple breakouts, high volume breakouts. And you can see TSNP here. This has been one of the best examples of these OTC breakouts. I mean, you can see this thing started out in like the thousandth of a penny. And here we are at 40 cents. And the great thing about these is the patterns. The pattern, These stocks consistently follow that pattern. And what you can see here is, is that that action we look for you know, I call it kind of like that wave type idea, but what you're looking for is those simple breakouts on high volume and through key levels. So you can kind of see, notice TSNP is that wave action. It breaks out, and then when it breaks again, look at that spike, big vertical move. So then again, you're trading these. You're not bag holding, you're selling. When you get a 20, 30% gap up, you sell. Because then you see, look how that wave repeats. Then when it breaks out again, just like I drew over here, big pullback. But then when it breaks back out above that previous level, you get that spike. And then this wave, and I know I'm getting a little sloppy here, but what I'm trying to show you is that kind of that cup and handle idea. And then you can see that huge spike. And then here we are back in that pullback. And who knows, by the time you watch this video, it would not surprise me if it breaks back above that 50 cent level. So simple breakouts, high volume, and then you're looking for news and hot sector. You know, they, they, this stock, they've been pumping out press releases. You see it mentioned on Twitter all the time. Um, I get tagged all the time. The, the other night, I get up in the morning and there's like my notifications on Twitter. It's like hundreds of notifications. And it's all these bots. You know, there are all these weird eggs with fake usernames talking about TSNP. What did it do? I mean, this was a week ago. That was a day it went from like 35 cents to 50 cents in two days. I mean, you can see this stuff happening, just going on Twitter, going in chat rooms. And then again, if you're looking at those breakout levels and those gappers, as we call them, they consistently break out. And that's the exact price action you're looking for when we talk about OTC gappers. You're looking for consistently uptrending through the day, holding near the high of the day into the afternoon, basically that VWAP hold type pattern I talk about. And then you want it to break out on the daily chart the one year, one day chart, which again, you know, looking into the future, depending on when you see this video, if TSNP breaks at 50 cent, there's a high likelihood it's going to spike just like when it broke that 35 cent level that I already drew and they spike a couple days, pull back hard, you know, but again, you're selling into those gappers. So when you buy that afternoon breakout, a lot of the guys on the twist, you know, Matt, Jack, a lot of these guys are, and Kyle, they're trading these OTC swizzles, as they say. That's that OTC stock at 52-week highs. It's closing at or around the high of the day on above average volume and breaking through key levels. Write those things down, okay? Those are your five bullet, bullets, bullet points for that OTC gapper. And then when you get that 20, 30% gap, we always say in OTC land, you get the gap, you sell the gap. Just like when I started and I lectured you for two minutes at the beginning of this video, you're not believing in these things, you're not an investor, and you're probably not even a swing trader. You're just looking for that OTC gapper set up into the afternoon, and they gap up 20%, you sell, and if it trends through the day, you buy again, and you can do it again tomorrow. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%, boom, 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 in a low price stock that you could buy hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of shares because again a lot of these otcs can be you know sub penny stocks so less than a penny tsnp started out i believe at like three one thousandth of a penny when it started its run back in november so you can take crazy position you know crazy amounts of shares and you get that big gap and you can just kind of trade in and out of them versus say trying to trade a tesla you know i listen i think tesla is one of the best trading stocks out there that thing follows our top five favorite patterns like three out of four three four days out of five days a week but it's a 900 dollars stock you got a thousand dollar account you can't even buy one share you can buy a lot of shares of tsnp and what's great about the otcs right now is they are so consistent and it hasn't been like this it just started 
um, really started seeing the shift in the, the land going back to last summer. I'm recording this video in February of 2021 and summer of 2020 is when the OTCs finally came back because they were out of vogue for years, literally years. We every now and then we'd get a runner. Now, a lot of days we have five or six of these things that are following these exact same patterns. So that's why I want you following them right now. Well, of course, everything's hot. <laughs> Sub penny stocks, penny stocks, ten dollar stocks, fifty dollar stocks, nine hundred dollar stocks, meme stocks. I mean, everything's hot right now. But if you've got that small account and you're willing to track your patterns and you're willing to be patient and focus on those afternoon setups in these things, it's a great way to grow your account. And they just repeat and repeat and repeat right now. So that being said, drop me a comment. I'm curious, have you been trading these OTCs? Have you seen the shift in the market? That's my question for you because I used to, you know, again, if you're on that daily pre-market prep where I go live every day, 8.30 Eastern, uh, again, I think back to almost a year ago, people would bring up OTCs last spring. And I was like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Focus on liquid NASDAQs. And, and you might remember that. But now they're back and they're back big time. And the great thing about stocks to trade is we have all of our scans can be configured to only focus on OTCs. So it's a great tool if you've got that small account and you're looking for the next TSNP or that next OTC gap or you can, you can scan by market, by volume, by price range, and then look for those breakouts with those tools and it puts you ahead of so many people that are just out there looking for tips on Wall Street bets or on Twitter or whatever. Be informed, get an edge. Stocks of Trade's the way to do it. Click below, get the link to the trial. Check it out, run some scans. I think you'll love it. And check out the Steady Trade team. I look forward to working with you soon. It's a small group. We use Stocks of Trade every day. You see me use the tools. You see me run these scans twice a day, every single day. Check out the Steady Trade team, and we'll see you on the next video.